If I'm being real though, the minute Apple like up, look, why, why, man, why are these bugs all up in here? Why? Huge shout out to everybody who sent their best wishes for baby Sky Money. He is doing great. And hopefully I can get him to sleep soon because we got to really dig in and talk about the 16 inch MacBook Pro. Spoiler warning, it's boss. Hey, what are you doing? So, he is supposed to be sleeping, but like, when he is supposed to be sleeping, that's when his like, thug sky money wanna come out. Hey, here we go. All right, so now we should be Gucci. Give it a couple of minutes. I noticed that tucking his arms in is a huge help to help him sleep, so yeah. I... Come on. Okay, while he's sleeping, I just wanna give out a huge shout out to today's coffee sponsor, Darren Appel, Boss, Eugenia, Boss, and Ron St. Clair, Double Boss. Thanks so much for the coffee. You know caffeine plays a huge role in my production. You guys are all ninja bosses. Now, Pippin, if you wanna buy me a coffee, the link is down below. If not, it's cool, it's cool. But seriously though, thanks to everybody who bought a coffee. Oh man, gotta. Gotta do a quick shirt change though. Okay, scratch that. We going full, it's cold red. We locking it down. Okay, now, both arms in. He can Superman if he want to. My thought is less wiggle room means less wiggling, which means more sleeping. Okay, this is, oops. all right, let's go ahead and talk Apple Drip. And now you probably already know this, but just in case you didn't know, the new MacBook Pros are good. They do bring the sauce. It has a new M1 chip in it, the M1 Pro. Boss. Plenty of screen real estate. And pimping. They brought back the SD card slot. <laughs> and if I'm keeping it real, they had me at SD card slot. And again, I am a huge Mac user. I edit on a Mac. My whole channel runs off a Mac. I've been using iPhones forever. And nobody could just touch their airdrop. Like, the airdrop is just boss. So it is safe to say, just like I'm team Sony. That's just for right now. That R5C though. But yeah, just like I'm team Sony, I am team, your boy Sky Money is team Apple. The, like I'm telling you, it brings the sauce. Like you could double dip. It is that good. But there is a little problem. And this little problem is just something that Apple has been really struggling with since day one. It's like the main reason why I still need a Windows laptop. This is my Windows laptop. It is a Surface Pro. And now I'm gonna keep it G. It is nowhere near as powerful as my MacBook Pros and even my 13 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 chip. It is just, it is nowhere near as powerful. But this brings the sauce when it comes to something that I need on a daily basis, which I will explain later in the video. Okay, now since it's just a regular work day, I feel like it's a great day to talk about the 16 inch MacBook okay, Pro. And quick side note, it got cold quick. It was literally like just summer last week. I was like freezing. <laughs> Now the first reason why the 16 inch MacBook Pro brings the sauce is the speed. Like, and now Pimpin', when I say speed, I'm talking like it, hit, it got a turbo button that you don't even have to press. And like, I know y'all think I'm exaggerating, but I'm really not. I had a sequence the other day for my secret channel that makes all the money. That was all shot in 5K. And usually, like this is not a lie, usually it would take maybe to export the sequence out, the whole sequence out. It would usually take about six to seven hours. And now pimpin', don't get him twisted. That's actually normal. But my ninjas with the 16 inch MacBook Pro, you're looking at three to three and a half hours easy, which is insane. <laughs> So when it comes to creating content or just being a content creator in general, Pimpin', you are covered if you got the 16 inch MacBook Pro. And I'll be real, I don't even have the best one. I mean, don't get it twisted. I do stun on my haters, but like, I ain't balling. Like, not yet, not, not like that. It also handles editing the footage, like with no problem, no stutters, nothing. 10-bit 422, you good. GoPro 5K, you Gucci. Even the S360 6K footage, it's like, you good to go. Only kind of footage I have not tested yet is 8K footage. I do not have a camera that shoots 8K, not yet. But I have seen reviews and 
it looks like it's handling like a champ. Like, I'm gonna be real. And when I say edited footage, I mean like, I'm throwing LUTs on it, I'm doing color corrections, I have like a bunch of effects, everything. And it is just good. Like, pimping, I'm telling you, the 16 inch MacBook Pro brings the sauce. And I'm not gonna lie, I hate doing like meetings, but when it comes to my Zoom meetings, I still hate them. But at least I, <laughs> at least the camera looks good. <laughs> he definitely stepped it up. The battery life too is really good and solid as well. And now it does drain a lot faster when I'm exporting out footage or even rendering the footage, but not by that much. Like you're not getting a huge drop in a short amount of time. And if I'm just doing my work, like my job job, I will start with about 100% in the morning. And by the end of the day, by six o'clock, maybe hit 70% to like maybe sometimes 65%, but it is a very impressive laptop. Like before I felt like they went too hard in the wrong direction, like getting rid of the SD card slot, that was a huge turn off for me. And for like every creator out there, like you kind of need an SD card slot. Yeah, you can buy all these dongles and all that other stuff, but like you kind of need an SD card slot. But luckily with the new Macs, they scaled it back, gave us the SD card slot back. Now we don't need a bunch of dongles all over the place. <laughs> and also this thing is very well built. Like it is built like a tank for real. Uh oh, Van, let me get up, let me get out the way. <laughs> Trying to get run over. And now that's not saying that the 13 inch Micro Pro isn't built that well. It's just that you can tell it really is built like a tank. Now, Pimpin', it is heavy. Like it's heavy in the backpack. Like you could clearly tell the difference between the 13 inch MacBook Pro and the 16 inch. Cause like, would I recommend traveling with it? I don't know. It, it is pretty big, like for real. And it's heavy, like it's heavy. So we know that the 16 inch MacBook Pro is built very well, has a ton of pros, but like, why do I still need a Windows laptop? Like what is preventing me from saying, bunk everything and just going full on Apple products for like every day? And there's really just one reason and like one reason alone. reason that I still need to carry a Windows laptop is because of the internet speed. Now, like I said before, this 16 inch MacBook Pro is incredible. And I mean incredible in every single way, minus the internet speed. Because I don't know how, but this five year, maybe six year, this old Surface Pro's internet is a lot faster than this brand new 16 inch, bringing the sauce MacBook Pro. Pro. I don't understand. When it comes to uploading content, my Surface Pro kills it. And the sad part about it all is I have no idea why. Because if I'm honest, it's not just this 16 inch MacBook Pro. This Surface Pro beats out every MacBook Pro I have ever had, which I've had maybe four MacBook Pros. But for some reason, the internet speed on the Surface Pro is fast. And I'm not even talking about just upload speed. Like for example, when I'm out at a cafe doing what thugs do, getting the work in, I noticed that my Surface Pro has better range. Like how? How is that possible? This thing is old. It's good, but it is old. Like on a day like today where it was like cold and now extremely sunny and nice, I do like to switch it up from being inside to sitting outside doing some work. But the moment I do that, the moment I leave inside of the cafe to the outside, the MacBook struggles, whereas the Surface Pro has no problem. And the same thing happens when I'm at home. So the internet's not the problem. When I'm at home, my MacBooks struggle in the bedroom when it comes to internet. Not the Surface Pro. Like, y'all think I'm lying. I'm not lying. Look, you see this? This is a Wi-Fi extender. I had to legit buy that because like the internet doesn't work back here with my Macs. But when it comes to my Windows Surface Pro, it's totally fine. I did a test where I uploaded the exact same video on both the MacBook Pro and the Surface Pro and the MacBook Pro's upload time was about an hour and 12 minutes while the Surface Pro's upload time, 35 minutes. Like, it was the exact same video, the exact same internet. I don't know what's going on. But pimping, other than that, if you are thinking about getting one of the new MacBook Pros, I highly recommend, it. especially the 16 inch. Like pimping, if you're looking for new drip to be more productive, the 16 inch MacBook Pro is boss. <laughs> but 
But anyway, Pimpin, that is just my take. What do you guys think of the new MacBook Pros, especially the 16 inch? It is unbelievably fast. Minus the internet. <laughs> like for real. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like them comments. Uh, and again, huge shout out to everybody who bought me a coffee. Like huge shout out to you. If you want to buy me a coffee, Pimpin, don't be shy. The link is down below. But now I got to get home. So I will see you in the next one. Oh man, that was cool. Some people recognize me from YouTube. I'm telling y'all, it's happening. <laughs>